I was tagged and you see this. This is insulin. Yep. That is actually insulin. I always feel like there should be smoke. Um, can you believe that though? It's not liquid, it's powder. Yeah. I don't think I have any diabetic followers, but... Hey everyone, I'm Ethan. I'm a diabetes pharmacist. Let's talk about it. So I'm sure you're all wondering, Ethan, why have you never told us about this? So the brand name of the inhaled insulin is called Afrezza. Pretty much just a dry powder formulation of rapid acting recombinant human insulin. In short, it's just really short acting insulin. Why is it not more popular? So number one, most insurances don't cover it. And number two, the dosing can be a pain. So it's only in four units. And just to give you an example, these are the cartridges that actually go in that inhaler. So you have a four units, which is the blue one, eight units, which is green, and then 12 units which is the yellow. But Ethan, where's the one unit? That's the tricky thing. There is no one unit. So you're really just basing it off of four units every time you're dosing. Also, there's no long acting inhaled insulin. If you need long acting, you're going to have to inject yourself anyways. With ultimately with a lot of diabetes patients, you're going to need long acting insulin. But then what if you need more than 12 units? What you'll have to do is, is with one cartridge, you inhale it and then you have to use another cartridge to inhale that as well. Which if you couldn't guess by now, a common side effect is like coughing and wheezing, which is why if you have asthma or COPD, you cannot use this medication. And then with this insulin, you're going to want to store it in the fridge because it's only good for 10 days at room temperature. And with that inhaler piece, you have to replace it every 15 days. But hey, if you only need a mealtime insulin, it may be beneficial for you if it's covered.